This is example six from lesson R.4. And we are going to simplify these complex fractions, first of all, by using the first method, which was to find a common denominator. Okay. One method we have of finding the common denominator is called the cross multiplication method. And the way that it works, and this only works, by the way, if um, your denominators have no common factors. And so my denominator here is 7 and y, and they have no common factors other than, excuse me, other than 1. So what I'm going to do is I am going to multiply. 1 times y, that's going to give me y, plus, and then I'm going to multiply 1 times 7, that's going to give me 7, and then in the denominator, I'm going to multiply 7 times y, and that is going to give me 7y. And so this first fraction has its common denominator, and the like terms and everything have already been combined up here. Now, we're going to do the second one. I'm going to do the same thing. So remember, I'm going to multiply y times y. That's going to give me y squared minus, and now I'm going to multiply 7 times 7. That's going to give me 49. And then for the denominator, I'm going to multiply the two denominators here together, 7 times y. That's going to give me 7y. So now what I'm doing is I'm dividing two fractions. Well, remember to divide two fractions, you're going to take the second one, or the denominator in this case, and you're going to invert it and change it to a multiplication problem. So this is going to become y plus 7 divided by 7y times 7y divided by y squared minus 49. Because we took this fraction down here and turned it upside down made it into its reciprocal. All right. Now, I already see that I have something in the top that can cancel with something in the bottom. The 7 and the 7 will cancel, and the y and the y will cancel also, which is going to leave me with the fraction y plus 7 divided by y squared minus 49. But remember, the bottom looks like it can be factored, and we should factor it to make sure that nothing can cancel between the top and the bottom there. All right, so the bottom is actually a difference of two squares, and I know that because 49 is a perfect square, 7 times 7, y squared is a perfect square, y and y, and then there was that minus sign right there in the middle. So on the top, we'll have y plus 7, and then the denominator will factor into the square root of 49, which is 7 and 7, and then my variables there, and then one should be positive and one should be negative. And now I can see, oh look, the whole numerator here will cancel with one of my factors. Now be really careful because people would like to tell me that the answer is y minus 7. It's not. y minus 7 is actually in the denominator of a fraction, and it has to stay in the denominator of a fraction, which means we need to have a one placeholder up here on top since everything canceled out. And so this fraction simplifies into 1 divided by y minus 7.